Hello and thank you for joining us to this introduction to Handong Global University. Uh, Handong University is a new, a relatively young and exciting university in Pohang, South Korea. We were established in 1995 with the slogan, Why Not Change the World? Handong University is a Christian university located near Pohang, South Korea. Uh, we are in the beautiful countryside near the mountains and near the sea and yet a short distance from the city of Pohang, a city of over 500,000 people. Handong University has a growing reputation not only in Korea but around Asia. Um, Handong University uh, has the first American law school with an English curriculum offered in Korea. Students from Handong International Law School take bar exams in the U.S. Handong University is also one of 10 United Nations AI Global Hubs. Handong University started in 1995 and has grown steadily over the years to become a strong university in South Korea. A quick glance, we see that Handong University has over 5,000 undergraduate students. Also, we have many international students from around 60 countries all around the world. The international student and international professors present give us a wonderful uh, flavor to our university. About 15% of the students at Handong University are international students from various countries around the world. Education at Handong University focuses around three key core values. The first is honesty and integrity. Handong University is recognized as a university which not only aspires to train students academically, but also to develop character and integrity. Handong University is quite popular among the students who come here, tend to stay. We have the number one retention rate among all private Korean universities. One important component of Handong University character education is the Handong University Honor Code. This was important from the very beginnings of the university, and this was a student-driven uh, initiative at trying to explain what it means to be a Handong University student who is growing in integrity. At Handong University, over 80% of our students live in the dormitories. Dormitory life is a very important part of the Handong University experience. There is an opportunity for students after their freshman year to live off campus nearby if they choose to do so. Handong University has a unique program called the team system. Uh, in the team system, students are given the opportunity to meet together weekly with a professor and to develop relationships with the professor and students on the team that go beyond the normal classroom student-teacher or even student-student relationship. Uh, it is an, it's an environment that can foster mentoring and uh, growth in areas of character. Another aspect of spiritual training is the Wednesday Student Chapel. Um, professors and students meet together um, for a time of worship and praise, hearing God's Word being taught and being together. And this is a required part of Handong University. A second important part of the focus of Handong University education is academic. As you can see, we offer many, many undergraduate programs, both in the liberal arts and also in engineering and science. All students at Handong University, all Handong students, 
are double major students. So they select two different majors uh, and complete a minimum of 33 credit hours for each major. There are very, very few exceptions to this rule. Um, there are a limited number of majors offered entirely in English. There are only four that are fully officially offered in English. And the significant one, a significant one, is the fourth one on the list here, Global Convergence Studies. The GCS program is a, is a program which allows international students to create their own majors. This is very, very important because students are required to double major. And there are only a very few majors available entirely in English. Through the GCS program, the door is wide open. Students work together with professors and are able to design their own majors by combining courses that are offered in English from a variety of different departments at Handong, also sometimes from exchange programs, and create majors uh, for themselves. As you can see from the list of sample majors, um, there are so many options available. Two of the more popular majors among GCS students are education majors and also Christian studies majors, but there are many others that have been, have been developed and completed by students. The first example would be a student with a first major in international studies the student created a second GCS major in education and development by combining courses from several different Handong departments. And after finishing at Handong, the student's plan was to continue studying and get a PhD in education for developing countries. A second example is a student named Catherine. She had a heart to serve people in the health industry and she designed a GCS major in public health and social welfare and she included courses that are listed below to create a very effective major. The final focus of Handong education is the significance of globalization. If we look at Handong at a quick glance, we can see that Handong University has an, a global and international imprint or footprint in many different ways. Uh, one way is through exchange programs. Handong University students travel all over the world for a semester or perhaps two at a time as exchange students. We've sent students to 63 countries and many different schools. It's also true that Handong University has sister relationships with schools all over the world, which allows these exchange opportunities to take place in an affordable way. It's also true that we sometimes have international students from other universities come and visit Handong for a semester or two, and this helps increase the international flavor of our campus. Another aspect of globalization is the relationship that Handong University has developed with the United Nations and certain UN organizations with a focus on global citizenship education. Students who graduate from Handong University go out into the world at, and serve in a wide variety of, of ways. Uh, many students have been employed by well-known companies uh, both in Korea and around the world. Uh, students who do not go to work directly after finishing undergraduate school uh, sometimes choose to go to graduate school to work on master's degrees or even PhDs. Let's talk for a minute about the admission process to our university. There are three steps that uh, interested high school students should keep in mind. And step one would be the submission of documents. Uh, make sure you follow the guidelines and fill out forms completely as you send them to us. 
Step two is the interview. Um, students who pass step one have a short interview with Handong professors and personnel. And the final step, step three, is the final decision. Uh, you will be notified um, in step three whether you have been accepted for admission to Handong. There are a number of scholarship opportunities available for students, including international students, who have an interest in coming to our school. Uh, one of the significant ones we call the Handong Cornerstone Scholarship. And in the next few slides, you can, you can read the highlights of the details. Thank you for joining us for this brief introduction to Handong University. If you need more information, please visit us at www.handong.edu slash eng or feel free to contact us by email at iadmissions at handong.edu. Have a great day and thanks again.